Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I wash my face and take off my makeup and all that good stuff. So I'm going to start off by taking off my makeup, of course, removing my eyelashes, pull them off gently guys, gently. Um, I'm using my Yes to Grapefruit wipes that I got from Ulta. I talked more about these in depth in my recent favorites video. But I'm just going to remove my makeup very gently. You want to make sure you get all of your makeup off before you start washing your face. Um, as much as you can anyway because the more makeup you get off the cleaner your face will be once you're done washing it and you don't want any residue left because if you sleep with that then you're probably not going to have good results in the morning so especially for sensitive skin make sure you get all your makeup off and I love these wipes because they get everything off like they're really good and you want to make sure you take off your mascara as good as possible too um, what I like to do is just grip my lashes, not pull on them, but grip them and kind of rub my fingers back and forth with the wipe to kind of get all that residue off. Um, so yeah, just wiping off all my makeup here. And you guys, I know my skin is not the best, but I'm working on it. So this is how I do it, do it, do it. Anyway, um, yeah, once I'm done wiping off my makeup, I like to use purified water and this is nursery water it's like a dollar at Walmart um, but purified water works better for me than the water from the sink because tap water here where I live is not the best and my skin is still not used to it yet so I try to use purified water as much as possible I wet my face with that and then I like to take my Dr. Bronner's soap and this is the peppermint one I love this soap because there are no chemicals in it I repeat no chemicals it's all oils and organic ingredients okay and the more organic your face wash is the better for your skin it'll be because it's not going to be harming your skin um, and I like to use baking soda with that to give it a little bit of abrasiveness so that it can exfoliate my face um, people have been telling me to use baking soda for a while now so I decided to go ahead and try it and I really really love it my skin has actually been doing really great with it it gets my face squeaky clean and gets rid of all of the dirt and it kills the germs and bacteria and everything so and I rinse my face and I use a paper towel to dry it off I never use towels because they hold bacteria pretty easily so I try to use paper towels as much as possible and if you can wipe your face with a paper towel and it comes off completely clean that means your face is clean but you're not done yet now on a normal day, I'll just take my skin clearing toner to restore the pH balance of my face and help fight um, bacteria and all that stuff. And then I'll go straight to my glycolic acid cream, which you have to remember that exfoliation is the most important part of getting rid of dark marks. If you don't renew the cells on your skin, you will just keep building on top of old skin cells that are already dead. So that's why it's so very important to make sure that you are getting a good night's rest eating the right foods and drinking enough water so that your body is functioning properly so that it can do the processes that it needs to do while you're getting that good night's rest and using the right products to help aid in those functions that your body goes through while you're sleeping. And you guys can look up more information about glycolic acid cream if you would like, but basically glycolic acid is what is used in chemical peels when you go to a spa so over time it just helps to remove that top layer and get rid of those discoloration and dark marks but sometimes I need a little more exfoliation going on with my skin so I like to use my PMD which I've had for actually about two years now and I've never really talked about it PMD is basically just a home system that you can use to exfoliate your skin at a professional level instead of just using a scrub or something like that on your face. Um, basically it uses suction to pull dead skin cells off of the top layer of your skin which allows for healthier skin to grow on top. So you don't have so many dark marks, fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, blemishes. Dermatologists do provide treatments like this but they cost way more and of course this isn't a cheap product but because you're saving so much money on getting it done professionally it's worth it. Now I do suggest reading the instructions very carefully and watching the instructional DVD that comes with the product because you want to make sure that you do it right okay so there are very specific instructions on how to use it. I would suggest using those instructions otherwise you will be in a lot of pain if you do it wrong. 
Um, and also remember that you cannot use this on breakouts. So if you have a lot of bumps, please don't use it on that because it's gonna hurt. You wanna make sure your skin is pretty much clear for the most part. But don't be scared, it is really simple. Just plug it up and you wanna pull it across your skin. Make sure you pull your skin so that it can drag across your skin and suck the dead skin cells off. And this is what it sounds like when it's pulling off the skin. And be sure to only go over a specific area at most twice. After using the PMD, your skin is going to be very, very dry. So you wanna make sure that you restore your skin to normal pH balance by using a toner. And I like to use the tea tree toner, like I said, because it helps with fighting blemishes and things like that. And while I let that toner soak into my skin, I like to put on my drying lotion by Mario Badescu. This is just a spot treatment that helps to fight acne while you sleep as well as covering it and protecting it from any germs getting inside. You only need a small amount of this. So you take a Q-tip and dip it straight down into the product and apply it directly on the spot that you need to cover. And once my face has dried with the toner on it, I'm going to use a moisturizer. Make sure to moisturize your skin. That's the most important thing, especially for sensitive and oily skin. So I like to use grapeseed oil because it's very close to the sebum that your skin naturally produces. So I, I like to use that on my face. I also make sure to get it on my eyelashes and my eyebrows um, just to help them grow and stay strong and stiff like that. And then, of course, you like to moisturize your lips with a lip balm. I like to use rosebud salve or just Vaseline if I have some sitting around. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys would like to check out PMD, I do have a coupon code and I'll be doing a giveaway on it. I have one PMD system to give away. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, please be sure to check the description box for all of the info on that, as well as a coupon code if you just want to go ahead and purchase it. It's a great gift for the holidays. And that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love ya. Bye.